Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Quinones here, and today we are going to be installing the Whitestone Dome Premium Gen Film for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. As you can see, this is going to give you protection for that inside display, the smaller outside display, and even the hinge itself. And I gotta give a huge thanks and shout out to the sponsors of this video, iBlazon. They sent over two of their armor box cases for the Galaxy Z Flip 4. They want us to see that their cases are going to be compatible with these screen protectors right here. That way we get the maximum protection when it comes to our Galaxy Z Flip 4. So make sure you stay till the end of the video after we're done putting these screen protectors on so we can try out these cases right here. And I'll have links for everything down in the description below. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've got everything out set up and ready to go. As you can see here, I got the screen protector over here hiding to the left for now. Got the device in hand. The first thing you wanna do is make sure the device is off. Make sure you're also in a dust-free environment. You don't want any dust floating around and possibly getting on this uh, display before you put the screen protector on because that will uh, cause it to have air bubbles when you are finished installing it. So after all that is done, we're gonna open up the device, make sure it is off. And as you can see, this does come with a pre-installed screen protector, which is actually very good. So if you don't need to replace it, you don't need to re worry about replacing it right away. But if you see it starting to peel up, maybe get some air bubbles, or if you just want a good quality film screen protector, uh, let's go ahead and replace it. We're going to take this piece right here. This is going to be their little remover tool. And then you're gonna to try to get it under the edge of that pre-installed screen protector here. It might take a few tries. Got it right there. Once you got it, all you gotta do is kind of push it in a little bit and then pull up. And it makes it very simple, very easy to pull off. Just like that, as you can see there, now there is no pre-installed screen protector anymore on the Z Flip 4. Okay, so once that is done, that screen protector is off, we can go ahead and set it in the jig right here, make sure it is facing uh, the in the correct position. As you can see, we got the camera hole up there, and that's where this camera, these camera modules are going to sit. So just like this, as you can see there. And what we're gonna do now is take the little wet towelette that they gave us here, let's open it up, and then we're going to clean that inside a display just in case you did happen to get any fingerprints on it. It should be clean for the most part once taking that uh, screen protector off, but just in case, if you did happen to get any fingerprints or anything like that on it, just go ahead and give it a quick wipe down, set that over to the side. Then we'll take the dry little towel they give us here just to dry it up. There we go, looking good, looking clean. And then we will take our dust removing sticker and just make sure you don't have any dust on this display because you don't wanna risk getting any air bubbles under the screen protector. That's why I did mention, make sure you're doing this in a dust-free environment. There we go, looking good. We might go over it one more time before we start the process, but now what we wanna do is take this top piece right here. You see this a little part that looks like a little Lego. You're just gonna fit it in this top insert, just like that. And then we want to take this little stoppage piece. In the back right here is a little sticker. You're gonna peel this off. Keep in mind, I am doing this behind camera, so it's not the easiest for me, so I'm going to do my best here. Okay, and we are going to place this on the desk. You want the sticky part to stick on the desk, counter, table, wherever you're doing it. And this is going to be a little stoppage point for this jig right here. So you can see it's not going to let it push forward. So you wanna make sure you have that on there because that is going to help us uh, with this process right here. So I got the screen protector over here to my left. Go ahead and pull it out here. There we go. And I do see a little bit of dust has fallen. So you're gonna wanna do this as quick as possible, at least as far as putting the screen protector on the top part right here, because you don't want to risk any dust falling while you're trying to set this all up. Okay, I think we're good. Let me go ahead and do this. So what we're gonna wanna do is pull down this tab right here. There we go. Okay, pull down the tab right there. Set that to the side. And then there's holes on the top and the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and put those on this top insert up here. And then same thing at the bottom. And even uh, this little part itself, it does say bottom. It does say top on it. It might be a little hard to see here on camera, but it fits on these pieces perfectly, just like that. And then we're ready to go. We got our squeegee right here. So we're gonna start at the bottom. We're gonna go slow. We're gonna apply a good amount of pressure with both hands and it lines up perfectly and just push forward. Nice and slow. Remember a good amount of pressure to make sure it really sticks on there. 
more than halfway there, almost to the top. There we go. Now, once you make it to the top right here, you wanna go ahead and peel this off and then go down to the bottom. Same thing, peel this off. And then use the smaller side of the squeegee and just push up like that. Make sure you don't have any air bubbles or anything. Now I do gotta give you a heads up, I am not in a truly dust-free environment, so I wouldn't be surprised if some dust did fall <laughs> under the screen protector as I was applying it, so just giving you a heads up there, but I'm doing my best, especially behind the camera here. It's not the easiest doing this behind the camera. Okay, we should be good there, and then at that point, we can take this part and just peel it back. Look at that. Whoa, and I actually don't see any air bubbles just right here down at the bottom, but these I could just push out with the squeegee, which you're going to want to do anyways. You're going to want to go over it just to make sure it's on there nice and secure with the smaller part of the squeegee. And I do see a little bit here in the center, but for the most part, it is looking good. All right, so there it is. I'm going to go ahead and power on the device so we can test it out, see how well it works when using the phone, see how responsive it is, but actually turned out pretty good. Pretty impressed. Look at that. So I'm gonna wait for this to turn on so we can go ahead and uh, test out this inner display to see how well um, it works. Okay, so the phone is powered on as you can see here. Screen protector is looking good, responding very well. I have no problems at all. And it actually feels good. It doesn't really even feel like I have a screen protector on here, even though you know it's not a super uh, thin glass screen protector like what we had with the Z Flip 3, but you know it actually still feels pretty good. It has a nice uh, smooth feel to it. Let's give it its first fold. There we go. All right, let's open it up, see what it looks like. Boom, look at that. Still looking good. No problems there at all. Of course, you're always going to see uh, that crease right there on this device, but overall, not too bad, not too bad. Let's go ahead and install this outer uh, screen protector right here. As you can see, I do have it right here over to the side. It's gonna be the same concept. Let's go ahead and clean it up here. Just using the same uh, little wet towel, go ahead and dry it up. Again, make sure there's no dust or anything. Let's use the dust absorbing sticker just to make sure. Whoops. All right, that's looking good. Now what we're gonna do here is basically just pull this tab out and we're going to line this up ourselves. There's no jig involved or anything. Here we go, I think I kind of messed that up. There we are, okay. And then we're going to line this up ourselves. You can use the cameras as a guide. Make sure it's nice and straight. Oh, okay, let me try one more time. It's a little hard doing this behind camera. There we are, okay. So, same kind of concept, let's see, where's my little squeegee at? We can even use the squeegee right here. You're gonna wanna set it at the halfway mark, and then you're gonna pull this back and simply push forward. Boom. Let's do the same thing on this side. Halfway mark right under the white part right there, pull back and push forward. See, all the cameras are kind of stopping it. Come on, come on, there, uh, there we go, all right. And the rest we can just do by hand. Make sure, make sure it's on there nice and secure. Make sure we don't have no air bubbles. Make sure you get nice and good around the cameras. And there it is, look at that, came out good. And then you can still see that front display. Look at that, still responds good. So that is a screen protector for that outside display. And then they also have one for the hinge. Maybe not too many people are gonna use it, but it's there if you do need it. We'll go ahead and give the hinge a quick wipe down. Let's dry it up. Let's make sure it's nice and clean. This is going to protect it uh, from getting scratched or anything like that. Now it does have the number one and two. We'll go ahead and peel off the number one first. Let's see, am I doing this backwards? There we go, okay, there we go. And then you're just gonna wanna line it up yourself. Try to make sure it's on there nice and straight, just like that. Now the same thing, you can use the squeegee here if you want. I mean, you just hold it at the halfway mark, 
peel back and push forward. Boom. Same thing here, peel back and push forward. Boom. Now at this point, just straighten it out yourself. Once you got it nice and all pressed down, there's a little plastic piece still on top. You just peel that back, go over it one more time. And there you go. Your hinge is now protected from any possible scratches or damage because of this protector right here. So there it is. What do y'all think? Let me know down in the comments sections below. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this mess really quick. And then we can go ahead and check out these cases by our sponsors of this video, iBlazon. All right, all right, got the mess all cleaned up. Let's go and check out these cases, both the exact same cases. These are their armor box cases. As you can see, we got one in black and this metallic blue color, which I really, really like. So we're gonna go ahead and try this one out. And they both come with holsters, as you can see there, for those of you who are interested in that kind of thing. Let's see. Okay, got that out right there. Let me go ahead and throw these holsters over to the side now that you've seen what those look like. So the installation process is gonna be very simple. It pretty much just, snaps right on just like that look at that as you can see it is compatible with this outside screen protector it doesn't push up on it or anything like that so looking good right there and then with the back just snap it right on just like that nice and secure and these are going to give you that maximum protection for your galaxy z flip 4. look at that you open it up this is what it's going to look like in the back has a very very cool look to it got the kind of carbon fiber look right here on the bottom on the sides right here on the top got a cut out for the flash pretty nice deep cut out for that outer display and camera so if you happen to accidentally drop it flat down on a flat surface like that it should be protected when we open it up you do got a good size lip all the way around that inside display so if you happen to place it flat down on a flat surface like that or maybe even accidentally drop it it should give it some good protection as you can see as well it doesn't even touch that inside screen protector that we just installed so yes it is compatible with the white stone dome screen protector as well fold it up don't really get a gap in between as you can see there it does not cover the hinge when uh, closed like this but when it's open, it is going to give it that good protection. And that is what it's going to look like on the sides. Nice grip around the sides to keep it nice and secure in your hand. As you can see, it doesn't affect the uh, protector that we have here on the hinge as well. So it is compatible with all of the Whitestone Dome accessories for the Galaxy Z Flip 4. And that is what this is going to look like. Looking really, really good. Again, huge thanks to iBlazon for sponsoring this video. This is what the black one is going to look like. The same exact case. Let's go ahead and throw it on there really quick. Why not? Just to take a quick look at it. See what it looks like. Snaps on nice and easy. And stays on there nice and secure. Look at that. So this is what the black one is going to look like. Open it up. Look at that. Have that nice rugged look to it. Going to give you that maximum protection for your Z Flip 4. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comments section below. What do you think about the screen protector, the overall process of installing it? What do you think about these cases right here? As I mentioned earlier in the video, I will have links for everything down in the description below. Y'all let me know what you think. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Again, huge thanks to iBlazon for sponsoring this video. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. Hit that bell for notifications so you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you all so very much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.